Previously on Fly with the Guy. I'm on a hunt for a pink tie. You all know, I told you it's pink tober. You know, we got long legs over here, so I figured I could cut a couple minutes off of that. The amount of stuff they put in those impulse towers to get you to buy at the last minute. I was watching the Squid Games. I started that on Netflix, and so I'm like, most of the way through episode one. I feel like I'm rambling at this point, so I'm just gonna stop. It was a good day, all in all. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big shade out. All right, good morning, you all. So it is finally day four. Go home day of our trip. I slept. I feel much better, you all, prosperously because it's time to go home. And I know this will be my last four day trip for a very long time. Like, in order for me to work another four day, it's gonna have to be really, really worth it. So today, so many schedule changes. You all remember I was supposed to be in Salt Lake City and we were supposed to work two flights, Salt Lake to Chicago, Chicago to Miami. But then my schedule changed. So then they said we were going to Deadhead from Vegas to Chicago and then worked the flight from Chicago to Miami. Now it has changed again. So <laughs> we are officially going to have to now double deadhead. So we deadhead from Vegas to Denver and then deadhead on another flight from Denver to Chicago. And then we will actually work the flight from Chicago to Miami where we're supposed to get in at like 9.30 tonight. So pray my strength in the Lord y'all because this jet lag is about to be real. Uh, it's so tiring going west coast to east coast, but it's even more tiring when you just sit and you're like a passenger before you have to work. And we have like a sit in Denver too. It's a whole lot going on. So, you know, send up a quick prayer for the kid because we gonna need it all today. Okay, so update to this. There's music everywhere. Ugh. All right, so I had to step into the bathroom because this is the only place that wasn't playing music. Update. We, when we got here last night, we asked the shuttle company, what time is our van tomorrow? They told us 7 a.m., 7, 11 a.m. So that's what time we went off of. We came down here ready at 7, 11, no van in sight, 7, 15, no van, 7, 20, no van. We called the shuttle company and they're like, oh, your pickup was at 6:35." Where? <laughs> How? <laughs> so yeah, um, they're like, we can't get to you for another 30 minutes. So it's looking like we're gonna miss this first flight because it's not even our airline where we can call our company and ask them to hold the flight. We're flying on somebody else, so we're at liberty of them. So, welcome to go home. So, still at the airport because we missed the flight. There's nothing like walking up to the gate and seeing your plane push back as you walk up. With, we predicted what happened because the, the schedule issue with the van. And then we told our van driver which airline we were flying on. And he still took us the wrong direction. So, that was that. Now we're talking to the company to try to figure out what's going to be what because at this point they really can't get us to Chicago to work our flight so most likely they're going to have to figure out how to get us back to base and it's Sunday I'm leaving Vegas on Sunday it's almost impossible without a confirmed scene that you booked weeks ago we're all here now having breakfast getting the video uploaded for the day because at least I can do that <laughs> since I can't do anything else but I'll update y'all and let y'all know what happened it's a disaster. Who's in a hotel room? Same hotel back at our long, I mean, our short stay that we were in on the second night of the trip. Because, like I told y'all, we missed the flight <laughs> and there was no way for them to get us to Chicago to operate the part of our trip that we were supposed to work today. So that's done. There's also no way for them to get us to Miami tonight. So that's the thing. So now, we've been pulled off for the rest of today, and our new schedule is that we're going to lay over here throughout the day, and then tonight, at like 10, I think it is? No, 11, 
we're gonna take the red eye flight from Vegas to Miami. So we'll get in, get in tomorrow. I only had one day off between this four day trip and a three day trip that was supposed to start on the 5th. So now I'm not legal to work that trip on the 5th. So <laughs> welcome to my life, welcome to my life. So yeah, I got no sleep because you know the layover was so short. We got up super early to get dressed, to go to work, to come back to a hotel, which we predicted would happen yesterday when things were just not in line. So yeah, what are we gonna do? Because we're in Vegas all day today. And so yeah, and I'm not working tonight. So I'm officially done working. Um, I think I'm about to change clothes and then link up with the crew and see what we might get into. All right y'all, so I am out. I went out with my co-worker. We was about, we about to get hit <laughs> on camera. <laughs> I fallen on camera. The last thing I need to do is to get hit on camera. But we just went over to the hydration store, y'all, since yeah, we, we got our extra time. So it's about to be a oh, let me turn the switch. It's about to be a movie. Okay. I know. Rude. <laughs> but yeah, back at the hotel, I am for sure getting me some white castle on this layover. This is the hard part about the trip getting extended. I was meal prepped and packed for exactly four days. I was not packed for a five day trip. So I don't like this because now I got to spend unnecessary money. Oh, but life of a flight attendant. Okay, so I don't think I told y'all this this morning, but when we were at our original hotel from last night, I ran into some friends from when I used to be Philly based. And oh my gosh, I have not seen her in forever. But they, I was, I was like, why are y'all like starting out this early in the morning? And she was like, we have not been in yet. So <laughs> they had been out all night long and they were just getting to the hotel at uh, eight o'clock. No, it wasn't even eight o'clock yet. It was seven o'clock this morning. Um, so they've literally been out in Vegas all night long. So that was hilarious. Hey. But I'm gonna go look at the list and see what else is downstairs because it's about to be a party. It's about to be a party. I hate cheap champagne because it, it just fizzes up way too much. And the funny thing is from my days of serving, I know how to pour champagne. Shout out to the hotel with the free breakfast, coming through with the juice, and we won't need but a splash. You know, you see that much? This, it's just for color. It's, we're not supposed to taste the orange juice. It's just for color. That's what you call a mimosa. What? <laughs> No, I'm talking to the vlog. The day shall resume and I will holler at y'all later. All right, so hours later, leaving the hotel. I basically did not leave because I sequestered myself into the room and binge watched Squid Games and I literally just finished like two minutes ago. So upset with the ending of that show. But nonetheless, it was a good watch on Hulu, not Hulu, Netflix. Nonetheless, going downstairs, 9.30 van. We don't have to be at the gate until like 10.30. It's best because we're deadheading, but I'm just going down early. I don't know why we said a 9.30 van. Maybe I can get food at the airport. Hopefully something is still open. Mm, should I chance it or should I just go to White Castle now? Decisions. All right, so we finally made it on here. I went to Applebee's <clears throat> and got some food. Wait a minute, can't spill this soup. So we got some soup. Where's Applebee's? Yeah, Applebee's. Where we go to Chili? This Chili. Um, that's a chicken sandwich and some fries. Um, like I mentioned, we are deadheading. For those of you who are new here, when you're deadhead, it is when your company needs to reposition you. So you're paid to fly basically as a passenger. So I'm working, but I'm not working. Um, and there's certain privileges that come with that because you're not working crew members. So I'm about to actually get out of this uniform because I want to be a lot more comfortable. Y'all have a flight time yet? Look at me about to bring the call, but because I got a question. Look here, don't be like, don't be a <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, 
it's three of us from my original crew on here dead heading back and yeah apparently they're delayed boarding for some reason i just want to get home because this is about to be day five and i was supposed to be home like uh three hours ago so i don't like that but i'm about to eat we're gonna fly i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here you all for today <laughs> We will pick up on vlog over whatever day come next, but that's it for the day. I'm Brandon, I'm the guy who flies, and I will see you all hopefully when I get to Miami.